Here it is guys, the iPad Pro 10.5 inch. This thing is so sleek, so good looking, it's hard to believe. I mean, Apple really, really went all out on this one. So in this video, I wanted to compare the new iPad Pro 10.5 inch with the super slim bezels to the older iPad Pro 9.7 inch. So how does the new one compare to the old one in terms of durability? My main concern is the slimmer bezels. You know, there is less room there uh, for the actual border to absorb the shock. I'm not really sure if that'll make a difference at all, but that's why I want to tell uh, in this video. So we're going to go ahead and see in multiple scenarios, drop testing an iPad Pro newer versus older version, which one is more durable? And then just at the end, just gonna throw in a little bend test uh, just in case. But in any case, I'm very curious to see which is more durable. Let's go ahead and find out. So I'm gonna be pitting the space gray one against this one. So this is from earlier test, water test. Approaching 10 minutes soon, and the display is starting to dim. It's not gonna turn on, but it'll give us a good idea of the screen how that's doing. All right, starting with the older one, but smaller. It has slightly less mass. It weighs just a little bit less, about 0.1 pound less. Uh, otherwise, it's overall the same thickness, just a little bit smaller. So on the rear, about waist height, where we're all gonna be dropping it from in case it happens. Three, two, one. Oh, and uh, the larger one so i'm going to move this aside and about waist tight here three two one Ooh, has some flex there kind of landed on the side so um oh that's that's not good camera lens almost seemed broken but it's actually fine okay other than that nothing really wrong with it no bend this one is fine the camera lenses are very similar. They protrude a good amount, but the uh, newer one actually has a larger camera lens, so that might get broken first. Okay, side impact, same deal. So waist height in three, two, one. Ooh, that left a gouge in the concrete. <laughs> Not good. And this one in three, two, one. Ouch, I'm more worried about this it's cracking my concrete. Okay, so uh, nice big gouge in here. Wipes off uh, fairly easily, but still some left. So a little dent in the shell. Screen is okay, and that's great. This one is uh, same deal, actually. Very similar damage. So the metal is just a little corrupted. Display is okay. So face down. Um, a little worried about this one. This one has thinner bezels, might not do so well. So waist tight in three, two, one. Ooh, that's loud. And I'm gonna move that aside before I look at it. Let's do the other one. Same deal, three, two, one. Ooh. Oh no, that's all it took. I'm a little disappointed. I thought this thing would be way more competitive here, but one face down on smooth concrete. And as you can see, it's all cracked. Um, display is still working. That is disappointing. I thought this thing would do much better. And the older one, oh, wow. Would you look at that? That's all it took. Well. I don't even know. I thought, <laughs> you know, I remember doing the old 12.9 inch one. That creates a lot of noise and wind. So, oh wow. And that one actually did quite good. Like it resisted the drops very well. Um, and I think it was like the head height one that finally broke it and not even the glass. So to see these break so easily is a little bit disappointing, but there it is guys. Um, the iPad Pro 10.5 inch cannot take a waist height fall onto the glass. I mean, this thing is just like crazy thin for what it is. So I guess that explains as to why it can't take uh, the impact very well. All right, so very disappointing results here on both, 
but I wanted to continue this test and do a bend to test the metal shell. So how resistant is that to bend? I mean, is it gonna be bending in your backpack, something like that? It's just, it'd be pretty good to tell. Usually, you know, if there's something on the side, the volume buttons, that's where the bend point is going to be. So my guess is that the smart connector here is going to be where the bend or stress point is going to be. So we're gonna test that out so with a little bit more screen estate if this one is harder to bend than the old one. All right, so uh, I'm gonna do the older one first. So I'm gonna try and bend it from this side. I know the screen's already cracked, but I'm basically testing uh, the metal shell here in the back. So, oh man, there's a lot of flex without even trying here. But here we go in three, two, one. Wow. I think the, yeah, definitely the display being cracked already makes that a lot easier. But the metal shell in the back is so flexible. Look at this. I can bend it and unbend it just like that. Look how easy that is. Super easy to bend. I would honestly be a little concerned about this in my backpack. Let's try and bend a saw a area like this over here in the middle. Again, super easy to bend. This is like Play-Doh. Am I Strong or is this really weak? One over here, one, two, three. Wow, <laughs> that is too easy. And one over here. Yep, okay. Um, I had no idea these are so easy to bend. Might be uh, harder with the screen uncracked, but wow. Okay, so I'm gonna set that right there, clean this off and uh, the 10.5 inch one, which by the way is still working. So this is gonna be extra painful. This is the 512 gigabyte LTE model, over a thousand dollars, but I really wanna see how durable it is. Okay, man, I really, really hope it's not this easy to bend because I'd be kind of concerned to be honest to use this thing without a case. All right, starting here in a three, two, one. Wow. Super easy to bend, like unbelievably easy. Look at that. Unable to verify app. Still working. Got some weird uh, ghosting effect on the display. Oh yeah, but there's that 120 hertz in action with cracks in the display even. It looks pretty dang good. You notice how smooth it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Got some weird spots going on, but 120 frames per second display. That's, that's crazy. So this thing is super easy to bend, like unbelievably easy, just like that one, really no difference here. If I were to say uh, which one is more durable than the other, I couldn't tell you because they're both a soft as Play-Doh, very, very brittle. Take care of your iPad, use a good case, uh, use a sleeve. The iPhones are so much more resistant to drop and bend than these guys. It's kind of hard to reinforce such a big shape here, but here, let me, uh, let me go on and bend this one over here. Oh my gosh, look at that. The LTE model kind of cracks at the, uh, at the cellular bar over here, the antenna, super easy. I feel like I could just snap this corner off here. Look at that, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. All right guys, can't say I'm really surprised at how fragile these are, but my one piece of advice for you guys, if you're worried at all about the durability of these things, obviously you're not gonna go bending them yourself, but they are very, very fragile, much more so than I thought. So take care of them, wear a case, uh, be careful not to sit on them or lean against them in your backpack. Like, look at this, just a little bit of bent and you've got a dent in there. And, and I'm not even trying really hard to bend this. It's, it's unbelievably soft. So there it is, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, iPad is still working, like has this weird ghosting effect going on. Uh, that's kind of funny. It's like freezing, weird but still surviving there, hanging in, even with a chunk of it nearly torn off. You can literally see inside of the iPad and the logic board and battery there. Now to unbend it. I just wanna fix what I made. So this little piece on the bottom, literally this right here. Oof, that is so easy to bend. Oh, oops. And this piece here. Oh. There we go. So just a little bit of bend left. Okay. I got it as close as possible. Ooh, I think the display finally crapped out. 
Okay, yeah, I totally just killed it bending it back. Uh, and this one here, I'm gonna unbend it. Look at, look at how easy it is to bend, it's scary. And this one, and this one. This is so bad, it hurts me to do this. It looks like the top portion still works. It's the bottom that doesn't. Oh, it does. It's just not refreshing, I see. But those silky smooth 120 frames per second animations over here, oh yeah, they look good. They do. So take care of your iPad, hold it close as you watch this video here. But there you go, the new iPad Pro 10.5 inch, not that durable. Take care of it. Peace.